Hello, my cancers. Y'all know my sister is a cancer. Some of my good friends are cancers, um, which is really strange because Libras tend to be a little bit unemotional. And I know some people are going to argue with me because they're like, no, Libras cry. They want to be in love. They want this. And they're just mushy, gushy people. Not all of us. Not all of us. So it probably depends on what is it, the canter where you fall at in your birthday or within that month. But um, my sister being a cancer has all these mood swings that I, I just look back and I just look. And I'm like, oh, God, thank God I don't go through that shit. <laughs> She's going to kill me. But it is the truth. But I love my cancers. I love it. It's never a dull moment with cancers at all. Never. They either looking for love, crying about love, or they don't want to be in love, right? So let's see what's going on. Okay, so make sure you check your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. The monthly special, because I'm going on a spiritual journey this month, is a spiritual reading. 15 minutes, $15. What are your gifts? What are your obstacles? What are you growing into? All right. Cancers, Cancerians. What's going on with my cancers? Ooh, some of y'all are dealing with a Libra. Cancers and Libras. I'm telling you, you guys. People would think we don't get each other, but we do. We absolutely do. I could be telling my sister how to start a business. Looks like some Libra person is going to be giving you Cancer's advice this month. That could affect your money. They could be talking to you about going into business with them. Or you may be wanting to start a business and an air sign person, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini may want to come in and say, look, I have an idea. Let's work together on this. Be open to it because I do see money is attached. I don't know if me and my sister could work together. I think we probably could because I'm the oldest and I would make sure that I would get my way. Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's get into it. So like I said, you have an air sign person who's coming to you and they're talking about, look, this is something that I feel like would be beneficial for you and I. We could make money off of this. What do you think? And I see the cancer staying up in bed at night worrying. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can I do it? Can I do it? I think I can do it. I want to do it. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if my money's right. I just don't know. The Libra or the Aquarius or the Gemini person seems like they're like, they want it. They want it. They're passionate about it. I don't know. So let me think about it. Okay. I do see some of y'all are going to do that. You're going to overthink it. You're going to make sure, and I get it. You want to make sure that you can work with this person. You want to make sure that the money is right because some of you definitely, you have children, you have families. You don't, you don't want to get involved with something that you don't think is going to return or yield an income that you can use to um, take care of yourself or take care of your family. Smart move. Take your time. Think about it. Don't overthink about it. Be careful with that. I do feel like for a few of you, if you're not worried about this business or this money, then you're worried about a relationship. Where is it going? Does he love me? Is, is this going to go in the direction I want it to go? Is she being truthful to me? Is she being faithful? There is a lot of staying up, maybe worried about a committed relationship or a relationship that you wish was more committed. Now, for some of you, I do feel like the person that you're involved with is either taken they're either living with somebody or they're actually married and of course maybe that is why you're laying in bed at night worried about what they're worried about or what they're thinking about because there is no commitment i do see that there is some type of um there are romantic feelings with this person you are feeling for them they are feeling for you but there may be an obstacle because either you may have a partner or they may have a partner and it's like where where the fuck do we go from this now for a few of you you need to be careful listen to me you need to be careful you're gonna fuck with this person you're gonna get pregnant and you may have a husband and they may have a wife and then all of a sudden y'all looking at each other like what the fuck did we do they put their penis in your vagina or your vagina fell on their penis and now there's a baby. So if you're not trying to make a baby with somebody who is already in a relationship or attached, please use protection because this could come back. Some of y'all are going to have to deal with this. Some of y'all are going to get pregnant for somebody who's already in a relationship 
or they're going to be looking at you and you're pregnant and the husband is going to be like, oh, it's mine, it's mine, but it's not his. It's the other guy that you're fucking with. So please be careful. Now, I do see for some of y'all, this is going to be the catalyst for a select few that you're going to get pregnant and this person is going to say, well, shit, I don't want this shit to blow up on me. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my partner now and make it seem like we just had a big fight and I can't be with you anymore because they would rather do that than have to explain to somebody that they got somebody pregnant or they got knocked up for somebody else. So for some of y'all, I do see that y'all are going to come together because of this pregnancy, because both of y'all have to walk away quickly from your partners before that belly gets any bigger. So be careful with that. Wow, cancers. Good God, this is like a soap opera. So I do see that for the ones that do get pregnant and y'all decide that y'all want to walk away together, it's not because you're just pregnant. This person really does care for you. They really do. So some of y'all are going to get some victory out of this. You're going to get the prize. Um, uh, spirit is like, and that's not, uh, mm, okay. Spirit is like, you got to be careful because the way you got them, you, they may come out and do this to you somewhere down the line. I'm just putting it out there. Normally, I don't judge on anything like that. Do what you do, do you. But Spirit is saying for a few of you, you definitely you need to be careful because this person, this is their thing. They have affairs. They're chronic cheaters. So just be careful. Okay, I do get that there's going to be some travel. For some of y'all, y'all are going over water, back and forth. You're going to different uh, states, different countries. Some of y'all could be flight attendants like my sister, and there is a lot of travel. I do see for a few of you, there's like trips, seeing the world, moving forward, being really excited about it too. Um, some of y'all are actually really looking forward to traveling, to take in um, vacations, um, this summer, going across water, going to an island or a beach. I see a few of you definitely frolicking in the ocean. Have fun for me, right? I do see that for some of you, this travel is going to open up a door about a job opportunity. And this is something that maybe um, you've been waiting for. And it's going to take you to a different place where you're actually working in a different country. There is a lot of international business that I feel like is going on or global business. For some of y'all, I feel like even if you're at home. This is a home-based business where maybe you're talking to people in different states or different country, different countries because I get the internet type vibe with this too. So you could be doing some type of home-based um, job or business where you are communicating with global uh, people. Um, and it definitely is bringing in money for you. Some of you, you're going away for school in a different country. Um to continue your education. I do feel for a few of you, definitely you've been thinking about going back to school. You want to go back to school, go for it. It looks like it's going to be positive. It does look like it's going to be positive. Now, I do get that some of you may even decide to go to law school, um, maybe join the police force, something with law enforcement, um, criminal justice. So this could be, like I said, law school, criminal justice, uh police officer but it looks like this is something that just kind of opens up for you you've been passionate about it you want to do it and now you actually have the time to do it the money is there and you're going for it so congratulations i do see that some of you are really going on an adventure you're traveling to a new place you may be starting a new job you may be starting a different type of education this could even be spiritual growth spiritual transformations but I do feel like you're flying somewhere or you're traveling somewhere that you connect with that you would absolutely love. I do see that some of you are going to be leaving people behind, family, maybe even partnerships, because you come to you come to this end where your journey is going this way and this person can't go with you or they're choosing not to go with you. You still need to do it for yourself. And for a lot of you, I see that you will. Um, you're going to have some sadness with it, but you're strong and you're going to keep you're going to pick yourself up and keep going. Um, this could also be somebody telling you that they got a job in a different country or a different state and it's too good for them to pass up and they want to take it and they're going to take it and then there's sad, there's sadness behind it because I feel like two people are parting before they're ready to part, but it's because of opportunities that are pulling them in different directions. Ah, oh, that's a hard one, right? Jeez. Now I do see that. 
a lot of you have abundance coming in this month, which means that there are a lot of opportunities that are going to be opening up. Like I said, for some of you, definitely with travel, moving or relocating, but it is showing that it brings abundance in. Now, abundance, not just money. I do feel money's coming with it, but I just feel happiness. I feel freedom. I feel like somebody's making decisions and they're like not worried about things anymore. They feel like they finally found their, their click or their niche. And they're going full force into it. For some of you, you're going to really overthink, dwell, um, rethink it. Think about the person that maybe you're leaving, thinking about leaving your family. And then you're going to realize when you kind of try to go back in for this opportunity that it's gone. The timing has expired on it. Now, I do feel like you're going to get other opportunities, but you may end up missing a really great opportunity that would work for you because... Maybe your emotions or your mind is kind of holding you back because there are some fears. And for some of y'all, these are major changes. This is not going like moving to an apartment, you know, a couple of blocks down. This is actually packing up everything you have and maybe moving somewhere else. So I completely get that. I do get that some of you definitely are going to be very intuitive this month. Um, and you could meet a very intuitive person that you connect with, that you're like, okay, we get each other. There even could be some telepathy going back and forth with this person where you're picking up their thoughts, they're picking up your thoughts, and you just feel like this is a crazy connection. But it does show that you are going to meet somebody intuitive that you connect with, click with, and you may want to explore something more. And I had this for another sign. I can't remember if this was Gemini. But you do have an air sign in your cards too. So this could be with an air sign that you're going to connect with somebody and you're just going to be like, I can't believe that we're spiritually um, connected. I don't feel like a twin flame type of thing, but I definitely feel like you just get each other and there's this spiritual thing that you are able to kind of um, pass back and forth with each other. A lot of you definitely psychic insights. Um... And you're a water sign, so it makes sense that you're going to be picking up a lot of things, a lot of growth this month. Pay attention to what you hear, not only on the outside, but inside. I do feel like a lot of you are going to be seeing some spirits, um, but there's definitely a connection with your growth where you're opening up and you're, you're really not afraid to grow spiritually. You're not afraid of things that you're seeing and hearing, and spirit is actually showing themselves more to you. So that's really, it's great. So all right, Cancers, I hope all that made sense. Love you guys.